<laughs> details yet. This is fascinating. I, I mean, I never thought I'd even be asking these questions. I was like, God did it, and that's enough for me. Um, right, that's, it's, that, and, you know, that's the argument for people who want to stop thinking. And basically, it's just, if you want to, if it seems so puzzling, just say God did it, and then you stop thinking. And, and, I, and the point is that that's too often been the history of many ideas is that people say well look i can't possibly understand how that could happen i have no idea how that can happen so therefore god did it you know it's like the people who say you know i see something in the sky and i don't know what it is so it must be aliens i mean it's it, you know, <laughs> it, it there's lots of other possible explanations and um and in that case aliens are the last least likely possibility and i would argue in the case of God, generally, God is the least likely possibility, and of course, that argument, as you know, is subject to the is is called the God of the gaps argument, which is right. to put God when we don't understand something. Because the the problem with that is every time we understand something, the the, the gap becomes smaller and smaller, and the and the and, <laughs> and the they shift God. God, they shift, and yep. and I I think my argument in some sense closes that gap more or less completely. I mean, it doesn't. There are these questions about was was there anything before? Did time exist before? Was is it infinite in the past, infinite in the future? These are interesting, potentially interesting philosophical questions, and it, to some extent, sometimes physical questions. Right now, they're metaphysical. Mm -hmm. um, but um, and and you know, you can bury God in 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 that realm. But but the point is, if you're doing that, that's fine. But it, it you know, it just makes God more relevant. It literally, as I, I was not being facetious at the beginning of the program when I said that it's never discussed. You don't need God to understand anything that we can see in our universe. That doesn't make the existence of God impossible. It just means it's redundant. It's an idea that uh, unnecessary. And so, yeah, if you if it makes you feel good, fine. But you don't. But God doesn't add anything to our understanding of anything. Professor Krauss, I have a hard time because I don't know the science as you do, uh, trying to figure out how when we talk about quantum mechanics and things popping in and out of existence so we could see that that happens like well, we know it happens. We can't see it happen directly. We can infer that it happens. But anyway. My, my question is this, is like when I look at material matter, right? I, I live in such an equilibrium. I'm, I'm just, ah, everything's good. Life's yeah. great. Like how come everything goes just, just the way I like it? Sun rises, the sunset, you know, my question oh, is where does all this- like Bill O'Reilly, sun rises, sunsets, no one understands it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, start going. <laughs> go on. Uh, 